Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2016 video tutorial. I want to do some basic exercises for all the programs. And I'll start with SolidWorks. So let's go for a sketch. And I will try to show you how you should do it and how you should not do it. Yeah, so it's sort of best practice. Okay, let's start with a sketch on that plane. And you could, of course, snap onto the origin, but usually you should do your profile apart from this one. So let's start right here. And I want to use the center line. Okay, give it some dimensions. This should be 60. If you have a center line, see you can do a diameter dimension. So this should be 60 as well. This should be 20. And this one should be 30. And right here this should be 50 yep. okay now this profile is stable if you try to move it see it's stable and you should always do your profiles apart from the origin make it stable and then connect it to the origin. Do all the dimensions inside the profile and only with the last one or two constraints or dimensions fix it to the origin. So right now I could do it like this and make it coincident and it's fully defined. So leave the sketch and go for a uh, revolved or space. If you select open profile you will be asked if you want to close this sketch automatically otherwise it would be sort of a thin revolution a surface. So just confirm and you got your solid and confirm once again. You should always do sketches which remove material from sketches which create material or solids. Yeah. So I want to make two sketches. Next sketch again on the front plane. And let's view normal to this one. Again make it apart from the origin and apart from the already created solid and usually you should not reference edges from already created solids. Go for a center line right here. Give it dimensions this should be 60, this should be 15, this should be 60, this should be 30, and what's missing? Yeah, that's okay. So I need only some constraints. This point should be coincident to that point. Not a dimension, but... Okay. This point should be coincident to this one. And it's fully defined. And 
Now go for a revolved cut. Again you will be asked. I just select it right here. Confirm. And that's too much. But anyway, I confirm and I will edit my profile right here. This dimension should be not 60 but 40. And confirm. That's more like it. That's an exercise for revolve post space or revolve cut. So I will go for another sketch on the front plane. Not on this one, but on the front plane right here. And this is just a rectangle. So I don't need this one. And we'll close it with a center line as before. That's just another best practice. If you define your center line in the sketch, or your rotation axis in the sketch, it's better than to use some sort of different edge or line in the model. So let's go for our dimensions. This should be 60. This should be 15. not 51 but 50 and the distance from this line to this origin point should be 60 and now let's align this center line or the two points this point and that point they should be vertical aligned leave the sketch and make a revolve cut again just confirm and I want to do it in two directions so mid plane would be the right one and I want to have 90 degrees and confirm As you cannot enter negative values in this cut revolve, just take a look. You cannot use negative values right here, only positive values. So, in this case, I will not make a cut, but I will mirror this feature as an exception. So, let's go for mirror. And I want to mirror. Uh, with this plane and I want to mirror a feature not a body and I want to mirror this cut revolve and just confirm okay next I need another sketch your sketches should always be on planes it's possible in every program to do sketches on surfaces but you should put your sketches on planes. So I will use the top plane and this will be a rectangle. Let's look normal to our sketch plane. Maybe like this. Give it dimensions. This should be 18 and this should be 8 and this point and the center point of this line should be coincident that's it leave the sketch now go to extruded cut select the sketch this one and 
make it not blind but through all in the other direction in this one and confirm okay now let's add a hole there are many different ways to do it I will show you one so go for the hole wizard and it should be a hole with 8 millimeter diameter and the end condition should be up to next and I will define the position by a 3D sketch I will go for a point which is on this surface and select the point it should be on the zero Y should be 12 and this should be 25 but it's still under the fence so I will have to add some relations so I will go for add relation I will select the point I will select the plane that's the right plane and make it on plane and give it a dimension from that surface to this point so go for select other select the surface select the point give it the dimensions 12 confirm and now it should be fully defined just check this point is now fully defined confirm and confirm and I got my hole Now I need a camphor or two, not a fillet, but a camphor. Okay, and this should be two by forty-five. Okay, this edge, that edge, and this edge below, and confirm. And I'm done. So hope you enjoyed this very basic exercise. I will see you to many more. If you want to see more basic exercises, give it a like down below or just leave a comment. Thank you anyway. See you to the next one. Bye bye.